I'm just uh, about to stop recording today and then I had an idea that I don't want to forget so I'm not sure if I'll publish this maybe it'll be just a seed video to develop because there's a lot I would like to say about this in this channel right um, but it has to do with the scene of the martial arts of the 80s in Spain you know like the channels I follow most of those people talk about the 80s because many of those people I follow are roughly my age, right? I, um, full disclosure, 46 next month. But I grew up in Madrid, Spain. So a lot of people they talk about, I, I can absolutely relate to. This is the martial artist we all followed when we were young, like Bill Superfood Wallace, man. Yeah, and you know, what a legend. But uh, I wanna talk about this you know this martial artist that i so when i grew up my best friend john juan martinez uh got to train under pedro conde pedro peter conde and pedro conde was a very special person because he was the editor of the bruce lee magazine that was the only magazine about bruce lee in um in spain and then i believe he was also editor-in-chief of the dojo magazine which was basically the publication we had in spain it was a spanish magazine not a magazine that got translated um and so he also was a student of uh jeet Kune Do, but in his own way he didn't even want to call it jeet Kune Do. so he was a student of of um and teacher of of a system following bruce lee he had all this material about bruce lee you know i sat as a little kid, not a little kid, the young kid, young kid, not a little kid. We were already young kids, uh, my friend Juan and I. We sat and watched in VHS a lot of Bruce Lee material that you couldn't find in those years. There was no YouTube. It was many years before YouTube and the uh, internet explosion. And we watched the famous, you know, um, interview, not the interview, but the... Um, uh, screen test where Bruce Lee is being interviewed as a young Bruce Lee uh, and he, they ask him questions about the difference between Japanese and Kung Fu, Japanese arts and Kung Fu and he does that some demonstration and he's in a suit. We saw so much material that this guy had because he was the editor of these two magazines. The other thing is Pedro was an extreme martial artist and he trained uh, Juan. I didn't train with him, I didn't get there, but he, Juan trained with him. He has first hand and the other thing is Pedro Conde knew everybody. So he told us about Chuck Norris, about Jackie Chan, about, you know, uh, Larry Hartz Hartzell. Um, he knew everyone of uh, those years because he was the editor. He interviewed them. When he, these people come, came to Spain, he was the one to go to the airport, pick them up, take them around. And he had a lot of comments to make about them uh, that were very impressive. So gradually I will release more of those, but I'm going to probably hopefully get um, certainly Juan and maybe hopefully Pedro Conde in the podcast, A Thousand Exits. That would be really incredible, but probably have to translate. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Maybe they, they can do it. Uh, who knows? But... I was just thinking about that and I wanted to record this video because it's a beautiful uh, memory for me, hugely influential in my martial arts journey. These people were titans for me, right? Juan and, and Pedro, titans of the martial arts. When I was a small uh, little uh, student and um, hugely influential. 